Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. We're in the kitchen again and today I wanted to talk about a few ingredients, four that I have here, that you may have not heard of but that are very beneficial to your health. Sometimes I will talk about these or use these in some of my recipes so I wanted to take a bit more time to show you what they look like and how you can use them so then you can go head on out to a market here in Calgary and try them and see if you like them. So we're gonna start on one end and work our way to the other. So let's start with seaweed. So I have seaweed sheets here and these ones have actually been roasted but you can buy seaweed in its natural form where it's just dried. Um, so there's all different kinds, nori, dulce, kelp, and they all have great benefits of having lots of minerals. Minerals are a great source of support for our bodies because they help keep our electrolytes balanced. Um, and electrolytes are important with sweating. So if you've been in the gym or you've been at hot yoga, you're gonna be sweating out a lot of your electrolytes and this is important for your energy. So eating seaweed can help build your electrolytes back up. It also is a great source of iodine. So what's so great about iodine? This helps to support natural balance thyroid function. And here in Western Alberta, due to depleted soil, there is less iodine in our soil, so eating some seaweed can help to build up your levels in your body again. Um, another great component of seaweed is that it is very alkaline, so this helps to balance the pH of the body, which is also very important for balanced health. So what you can do with these is, um, of course, sushi. You can wrap uh, rolls of sushi, or you can break this up. You could put it in a salad. Another really easy thing to do is to take seaweed and if you are cooking rice or beans you can add the seaweed into that while it cooks and actually all of the minerals will absorb into your rice or your beans or your quinoa or whatever you're boiling and you get all those minerals into that and then you can just chop up the seaweed and mix it in and there won't really be much of a flavor left over so that's why I love seaweed so you can add it into a lot of different things up next on the list here, I have some delicious maca. So this is a powder that's been dried and blended from a root. So this is actually from South America. And why I love maca so much is because it's got great health benefits, especially for our hormones and for stress. So if you've been told you have something like adrenal fatigue or you're tired all the time, um, this is great to take either blended into a tea or a chocolate recipe because it really, really, really helps to calm stress down in the body and support your adrenals which are a big part of our stress so adding a teaspoon or two into a tea or a smoothie or like I said a chocolate recipe is great um, so this is also really good for fertility for women um, so mixing a little bit of this every day like I said with some sort of um, a smoothie or even a coffee or a tea would be perfect this has a bit of a bitter chocolate flavor so I always recommend that you do put something sweet in it to help balance with the flavor and just just try a little bit on your spoon first mixed in just to make sure you like the taste of it so you can adjust. So that is maca and it comes in a lighter white form and it also comes in a darker purple and black form. So they all have the great same health benefits but the flavor will differ a little bit and the white is the least bitter. So I was just talking about chocolate and I happen to have one of the lovely chocolates in its natural form. So people will often say, well, how do you tell the difference between this, which is called cacao nibs and a chocolate chip? So these are cacao nibs. And so essentially we start with the cacao bean in its full form. And then the next part is that this has been broken down into a nib. So essentially cacao nibs are a complete 100% natural chocolate. Um, so these nibs have tons of magnesium and magnesium is good for relaxing the mind, the muscles and our digestive system. So I often find a lot of people will crave chocolate and it's actually due to the magnesium in the chocolate. So the body's actually needing magnesium, which is really cool. Um, so I often find because of the high magnesium content, once you eat a couple teaspoons or tablespoons of this, you'll be very relaxed. So I often recommend to either put cacao nibs with dried fruit like goji berries or cherries or mango, um, or to mix it in with a muffin recipe or a granola bar recipe, or to actually, if you make truffles or anything, you can coat it with these nibs and they taste absolutely delici delicious. They're nice and crunchy, so that's also great. So if you want something crunchy, it is a good treat. So really high in magnesium, also a little bit of iron in there as well. I think it's really cool that all of these foods have such great medicinal properties. So not only are you eating something that could seem like a bit of a treat, but you're actually doing your body a lot of good. And last but not least, we have matcha. So matcha is a green powder. So this is actually um, in the green tea family. So about a half a teaspoon of matcha powder here 
is as potent as steeping 10 green tea bags at once. So it is very potent for natural caffeine. So I often will recommend to people to start with about a quarter teaspoon in either a, a tea, so you can just use hot water with lemon, or to put it into a smoothie again is really easy. Um, a lot of people also use this before workouts because it helps to give you that extra boost of energy you need with a natural caffeine source. So just start with a little bit and work your way up because it can make some people feel very energetic. Um, another great thing about this is it's very good for the immune system. It's high in antioxidants, so it supports strengthening the immune system so it can help to prevent and ward off colds and flus. So it's also great for that as well. So matcha is lovely um, because of all those properties. But like I said, just start with a little bit and work your way up with your tolerance just because it is very potent. Like I said, 10 green tea bags in a half a teaspoon. So these are four of kind of my favorite ingredients that you may not have heard of. So I hope now that you head on out to the store and you pick them up. You can actually find all four of these ingredients at Market 17 here locally in Calgary. Um, so they will be able to help you find these and you can go and start experimenting. I have lots of great recipes on my website that you can also use these ingredients in. So feel free to check that out on amberapproved.ca as well. Thanks and we'll see you next time.